Hey folks, and welcome back to a new season of Space Engineers with Survival Records. If you are new to the channel, then welcome, and uh, I'm going to be playing Space Engineers with survival settings turned on and ramped up in a few situations. And uh, yeah, I, I've got some mods installed, I've got some settings tweaked, so let's uh, get going, and I'll see you in the drop pod. Alright, so this is the planet Caldera. The, uh, I believe they called it the Oranzai system in the uh the workshop so uh yeah let me uh i can't hop out here let me show you hmm. well here we go first thing to show you is i'm not spawning with tools if i want tools then i'm going to have to spawn uh you know i'm gonna make them myself or i, I come with a few of them and you might think, uh, hold on, I'm not sitting in a regular drop pod. Well, that is correct. I am in a new type of drop pod. And let's hop out and see if I can watch it land. Okay. Fuel critical. There we go. Another change is my fuel it gets critical very quickly. And... Yes, that's right, I'm standing on lava. And the grids recognize that it's lava. Even debris landed on the surface takes damage over time. I figure my, uh, my personal suit is able to withstand the heat, but, you know, the grids I make, uh, I need to have safe zone in place in order to, uh, protect it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, that's problematic. Uh, my intro is done up in space, uh, and here's this one, but, uh, just to make it a little more interesting for myself, I am going to refrain from using the GPS. I haven't found a mod that completely disables it, but if I can't uh, justify having a GPS system, global positioning satellites, then I'm not going to use the GPS. Maybe if I can get some beacons uh, up on various points to triangulate, I'll do that. But, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Now, I, clearly everything I just dropped with has been uh, destroyed, which was a good good thing to show you. I was I'm kind of glad that that happened, but I'm... I, there's no way I could survive here. Um, I don't have any tools. I don't have any hydrogen. I'm going to respawn again. And... Yeah, we'll see you there. Here's something to point out. The caldera with the lava that actually destroys grids. Uh, the reason I picked this planet to spawn onto and to play on is because I had the thought, how can I subvert the standard, uh, the standard gameplay loop where you build up collect enough hydrogen to make a hydrogen rocket to get into space. That hydrogen dependency I like can can you get to space without using hydrogen? That's sort of the question that I had that sparked the the idea for this season. Um and so I don't know all of these other planets on the list are part of that Oranzai system. Uh, looks like maybe I gonna land in a better spot this time. Yeah. Alright. So, why don't I grab my tools and might need my gun. 
Uh, I will leave the med kits and the power kits in here, but let's take a look at this. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not using a GPS. But... I do have a... I do have a... Mm, yeah, okay. How am I going to justify this? I'm not going to use GPS, but I am going to use the compass on the top of my screen. So we're landing in a moment here. Okay. So, there we go. That economy station is 66.4 kilometers, and it's directly to the north of me. All right. I'll, uh, I'm going to write that down, and uh, how can I write that down? Can I write it down right on here? Yeah, I think I can. 60... What 66.4. Kilometers is K, lowercase m, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so if I ever want to get to that station I will have to travel to the north. So, uh, the drop pod that I, I I swapped out is a version with a cryo chamber uh, instead of just a chair. And other than that, it has the basic stuff. There's a, a thousand ice, um, hydrogen tank, hy oxygen tank, I'm not really sure everything it's got. I liked the look of it, and I wanted to just change it up and give myself a, a new challenge. Uh, all right, I can get up on top of it. It's important that I can jump up and get on top of things because my jetpack, while it does have the power to lift me up and catch my falls and such on the planet, uh, in the atmosphere. I do not have uh, the tank size necessary to get any long distance flights. So let's. Uh, where's the survival kit? This? Do I have any other storage on here? Just the cryo chamber, the O2 generator, parachutes. There is a small cargo container. Two of them, actually. And then the survival kit. All right. Um, let me grab this. And I'll just show you what I mean by the uh, um, the, the jetpack flight. So I could fly around like that, but then I run out of fuel. And I prefer this just because that way I can still use the jetpack if I need to, like jump out of a hole or something like that, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to, you know, abuse it. Something else we might see here is, well, that happened right quick, but the, um, this, this 985 ice might be the only ice that I actually yeah, have right now, so I'm actually going to just turn off my O2 generator. I have a vent right there, so that's good, and it looks like it's on depressurize. So, will my oxygen... Yeah, my oxygen will recharge here. Good. Uh, Alright. Uh, you can see that I have a sleep bar, food, and water. And I think the sleep tops... Yeah, sleep tops off in the cryo chamber. That's good. So, the... Next thing that I should show you is... I have the awe scrap 
mod installed. I also have the advanced welding mod installed so I can attach and detach things. Uh, yeah, and one last thing. I don't have the ability to turn stone into ingots. go to production here, you'll see I need uh, the no stone to ingot mod and I need 500 stone there, let me grab that inventory full, inventory full ow, oh, wrong button alright, there's that and we're turning it into ingots, but it actually just turns it into gravel now I am going to need some gravel, apparently, because I'm going to be making survival meals. Uh, but I need some... need something to start with that. I looked around on the planet a little bit already. There are boulders that I could find. So why don't I start walking and see if I can find a boulder. Um, which way? That is a giant ice ball up in orbit. I will walk towards it in a north-northwest. Oh, wait. Okay, I've got signals on this. I am using the uh, MES mod with a handful of different options. And as you see there, the assertive combat systems mod is, uh, is part of it. Uh, but, alright, I'm going to go toward the unknown signal. Yeah. Yeah, that's my first step. Oh, there's a boulder on the ground in this direction, too. Alright. Alright, what does the boulder have for me? Nickel? Oof. I mean, nickel's useful, I guess. I just... I really need an iron one to get myself started. Alright. It is possibly one of the rolly ones, though, no, I don't think so. All right. Access denied. Here's my dilemma. There is a battery on here. And if I press this button, the battery immediately drains. I think... I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Let me start peeling it apart. I don't need these plates. So the reason I'm debating is I can't press, um, let's cut off the top part. Oh, not that. Let's get it so that this piece on the top with the flashing light is separated. split. Okay. Right, I've got a 
cow grinder, huzzah. Alright. But, look at that, the battery stayed intact. And, frankly, I'm gonna be disappointed if I lose all the materials. Um, let me get the rest of this stuff grind up and see if I can get into this container here. Now, without it being all scrap, I can't just repair it. See, I don't have the materials now. So, let's be careful opening it up. What do we get? A cosmic coffee, a an enhanced drill right off the bat. Nice. Um, some power kits. Power kits will be good. And a bit of space credits. Alright. Uh, let me get the rest of this stuff then. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth trying to push a single battery back when I could get a decent amount of scrap out of those things. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just scrap it. It's only one small battery. And you'll notice that my inventory is awfully full. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I don't want to use the GPS. Okay. So, back this way. Uh, and I'm going to run back, and I'll see you there. May as well grab a bit of nickel while I'm at it. You know, if I'm not going to be using those signals, what are those signals for them anyway? An antenna and a beacon. Um, may as well just turn them off. Oh, let's get into it like this. We've got the hog. Off and off. There we go. Saving some battery. And. Oh, is that ore detector? Working? Oh. oh. There's one three kilometers out. You know, uh, let me show you what I've got going here. So, I can turn nickel ore directly into nickel. Um, but I also can scrap the computers, construction components, displays, girders, silicon, motor, iron, interior plate, solar cell, steel plate, and those, the gravel. Uh, let's drop that in. Can I do, hold on, can I do batteries? Oh, this was the page I needed to do that in. All right, let's, uh, so, scrap recycling here. I want to recycle everything that I need to recycle. And interestingly, I can recycle and, and refurbish large steel tubes and small steel tubes and sell scraps, even though I can't actually make them in here, which is nice. It means I can gain a little bit out of, uh, out of that. But let's get the stuff into our inventory here. 
I'm going to drop the stone. I don't need that occupying the space. to this other unknown signal that's 2.3 kilometers out, and we'll see what I find when I get there. It's on top of a mountain. Alright, well, we're heading east, so I want to head west to get back to the pod. We'll see you there. Ah, this is a little awkward. Come on. Stop if I like. Yep. There we go. I ran up to it, pressed the button, because I was running low on time, and apparently I uh, nudged it enough to make it fall down. It, it had started up there. Alright, now these little light bulbs just disappear if you don't snag them first. And the battery's going to have the majority of the good bits. Let's try and take off his legs. some food single chips uh, I get it interstellar beer <laughs> more credits and, ooh, and a bunch of interior plate all right well one thing you'll notice here is I only have 400 liters of capacity uh, which means I may not even be able to fit all of this scrap steel plate but I'll get as much as I can, and uh, hopefully see you guys back at the survival pod. Alright, I made it back to the pod. I've deposited most of my uh, stuff in there. And let's take a look at some of what we got left here. The coffee, the beer, and the Pringles chips. Now, can I... Put my credits right there. I can. Okay, so that 1,000 liters, that's actually going to be a pretty important amount of storage because I don't have uh, the ability to craft new um, new cargo containers. Not yet, anyway. Um, Alright, but, okay, uh, the, the one thing I need to do for sure is my food and my water are going down, and I guess I've got some food and water. Let me see what happens if I drink this. Uh, why am I hurting? I was hurting because my helmet was off. Alright. But hey, my water went up. Only went up by ten percent. Seventy-five percent water over three seconds. Fifteen percent health over three seconds. Minus fifteen percent sleep. So beer makes you tired. Okay. Uh, food here plus thirty percent food. Can I... Ooh, I can take my helmet off in here. And... I imagine I could probably eat inside there. 
come with back on, pop back out. Fuel critical. Yes, my jetpack fuel is critical still. Okay. Uh, so okay, I save. I'm saving up my ice there because I am. Uh, I need to make something, and it is a. Rations dispenser? Here we go. Emergency rations production unit. It is two by three. Uh, it's got two ports on the bottom. It needs interior plates, construction components, motors, girders, and computers. And another unknown signal. Alright, I think I have enough water. I'm gonna go run and grab that one. So, yeah, uh, let me go run and grab that one. And I need to go south southeast to come back. Okay, so that's. There's two boulders over there. I think I only found that first one with the nickel. And didn't see what that second one was. I'm going to run over there and grab that one. On my way to that. Because that's antenna is still giving out its signal and I can find it more easily. I feel like... Yeah. Alright, my pod is just down there between these two mountains. The one that kind of looks like uh, there's a guy with his eyebrows and nose and... Uh, shoulder so it's the toppled bust next to the uh, jagged crown between those two all right whoa okay an ice boulder that's possibly one of the only sources of ice I'm going to have on this map on this planet uh, that is valuable, but I don't have anything to use it with yet. Yeah. Alright, more assertive. Goings on. Hey, check it out. Here's the drop pod, but two more boulders down there. All right. Hmm. Odd, I can just access this one. I'll take the upgraded grinder. Sure. Chips. 30% of food. More food. Pringles and more space credits. Um, I've got eight minutes left. I need to push this thing. Can I push it? If I don't press that button or disable the button within eight minutes, then I will lose access to it. It'll just dis it'll destroy itself. So let me see if I can push it closer to the base. I just decided to grind the button. That might have done it. Let's see. Yeah, man. That's the ice boulder. I want to go over that direction, I think, anyway. Urgh. 
Come on. Oh, oh. Seriously. Apparently. Uh, grinding away that button doesn't actually take away the timer on the... I, I got so close, I started hitting record because I was about to like, Hey, alright, I made it back. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, alright, well, there were two new bullets. Hey, you know what? Hold on. Let's see how many... 759 iron. That should probably be enough to make one of these things. Let's, uh... Let's see about peeling away some of the armor here, and... Maybe I could fit the... Maybe back here? Let's, let's start here. So I forgot to mention that one of the reasons that I went with this pod is it was very straightforward, very simple, um, but it doesn't have a uh, bunch of thrusters on it. I didn't want to be tempted to try and turn it into an airplane. I want to deal with what I got where I landed. <sighs> got more possible assert ladybugs up there. You know, also, some of the mods that I have loaded on here aren't working exactly how I expected them to. So I'm going to have to do some playing around with that. Because I still haven't been able to show you how it is that I can ever improve my situation. Because, like I was showing you, I have very few functional blocks, right? I have some button panels. Honestly, I thought the sensor was one that I needed to find and unlock. But anyway, um, I don't have hardly any... Yeah, I don't have any of the cargo or conveyor blocks. Uh, I don't have any real honest cockpit blocks. I just have some seats. Uh, where is production blocks and power blocks are nearly empty. The mod I'm using is Schematic Hunter, and you can't disable assemblers in that because it breaks for some reason. So I have these unlocked, but what good is a large grid assembler do me when I can't power it? And so, yeah, uh, for now, I'm just going to see how far I can go, what I can do with collecting unknown signals. Eventually, I think one of the unknown signals is going to have a new schematic in it, where I will unlock one of the blueprints that I have, uh, don't have access to. flashing light and, uh, and that'll unlock the ability to make something and we'll see how that goes hopefully it goes well okay I think I found my best option. Oh boy, another unknown signal five kilometers out. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this attached here before I worry about going out there. So, when I rotate it this way, it's on the top. It means I need to be putting it like that or that. Uh, 
All right, uh, interior plates. I actually have a few interior plates. Now... Let's try there. That unknown signal is... Jeez, on top of the mountain up there. Well, I haven't ran off in that direction yet. Maybe there'll be something around the corner. But let's do this. Is the... Looks like it's producing things. Alright. Uh, and I can get more of these. I'm just going to throw on a thousand of each of these. I don't think I'm ever going to run into the canvas scrap much, but uh, there we go. still moving up there. Alright, come on. Just a little more. What is it working on? Play girder. Energy low. Come on, there we go. So that ooh, that's an access to the inventory. And then there's just a button panel, so I'm glad I did that. Let's grab me some energy. And see what we can make in the... Emergency Ration Production Kit. Alright. Gravel and ice, and ice and an iron ingot. Let's do one of each. And will it pull? It looks like it is. Oh, yeah, ooh, it's slowly working on that. Oh, that's, by the way, that's the name of the mod. Eat, drink, sleep, repeat. And I liked it over daily needs because it it's cleaner. If I feel like it fits a little bit more in with the 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 modes of um, not modes words. Why am I trying to think of words? Aesthetic. That's the word. I feel like it fits more with the aesthetic of the game. And there are farming blocks that are actually functional in the mod where I can grow plants in these and uh, and it works so I have an emergency ration and there we go I have sparkling water so let's Dropped off our components. I'm gonna drop off my money. I'm gonna leave some chips behind. 
and the beer. And let's hop in here, open up our helmet, and eat some thing, drink some thing. Food is going up. You can see that. And water. Oh, it's gone up quite a ways. Okay. Alright, so yeah, let me uh, queue up ten of each. And. Oh, my helmet. Okay. Now, let's see if I can make it up there in eight minutes. That's a bit of a climb. I'll bring it back if I do. So, a couple things just happened. Um, yeah, I, I'm on top of some silicon. Or I was. Oh, there we go. Top of some silicon. Uh, I'm not going to make it to that, but I was just given a GPS for Banks Claim. Which is interesting. Oh yeah, that's about to explode. But anyway, there's silicon here, which means there might be other things like iron nearby. I don't know exactly how things spawn in this uh, on this planet. Um, it's very. If I fall down that, I am going to have a very bad time. Okay. Exploding in 56 seconds. Um, let me head down here and figure out why I was just given a GPS for the bank's claim. Bank's claim sounds a bit like what I would expect from the uh, Abandoned Outposts mod that I have for MES. Hey, this is so steep. How did I not see this? All right, anyway, up on this this edge here, I'm going to remember that there is some... Uh, hey, I'm getting vertical. Silicon is here. Thanks. And I'm going to head back that way. So, my... Yeah. Cry the cryopod, the drop pod is over there. The survival kit. I'll hit up that and get a... Uh, get a top off on my... Oxygen and my power and everything. And I'll see you guys over at the bank's claim.